Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use the cron command in Cisco. If you've used Linux before, you'll know that the cron command is used for scheduling tasks within a Linux operating system. This can be extremely useful for a number of different scenarios. For example, if someone has made configuration changes to a device but hasn't saved the configuration to the NVRAM, the cron job will automatically save the configuration to NVRAM at a time specified within the job. It also ensures that configuration is never lost if the device unexpectedly restarts after configuration changes have been made. Finally, it can also be used to automate configuration backups to external FTP servers. So, there's two parts to creating a cron job. First of all, we've got our policy list. So this is where we define the command we want to run as part of the schedule. Second of all, we've got our occurrence. So this specifies what time we want the job to run, the interval, and how often we want the job to run. First things first, we need to make sure the time's correct on the device. Otherwise, the cron jobs won't run correctly, which here it is. And then we need to go into configuration mode. And first of all, we'll create our policy list. So if we do cron policy list, then need to specify a name. From here, we then need to specify the command we want to run as part of the job. So we're going to specify write mem. Once that's been completed, we then need to specify our occurrence. So we'll create an occurrence job. Here you can see we can specify the job to run at a specific time or in a certain time period. But in this instance, we're going to specify it at a certain time. If we then specify the time we want our job to run, so I'm going to specify 1 a.m. And we can then choose whether we want the job to run on specific days, specific months, or whether we want the job to repeatedly occur every day at 1 a.m. Now that's been completed, we now need to attach the occurrence to the policy list we just created. And then that's the configuration all done. So we'll just check to make sure the configuration is in the running config which it is. Just to go over it again, policy list specifies the command we want to run as part of the job, so write memory, and the occurrence specifies what time we want the job to run. So in this scenario, every day at 1am, the device will run the write mem command so that the running configuration is saved to MVRAM. And there we have it, and that's how we use the cron command on a Cisco device to automate copying running configuration to NVRAM. Hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you next time.